I was diagnosed with lung disease in 1997. And it's a debilitating, irreversible, incurable, degenerative lung disease. So I was living a life of hell. It was like trying to breathe through layers and layers of gauze over your nose and your mouth. It's very suffocating and it, it causes panic. My daughter was uh, 13 and my son was 10. I missed out on a lot of my children's activities as they were growing up because I was just too tired. When I arrived at UHN, the surgeon knelt down on one knee and he made contact with my eyes and he never took his gaze off my eyes. I suddenly felt that much needed hope that was missing in my life. When you're communicating with the patient the first time and, and you tell them you need a lung transplant or, or you have a, a lung cancer that we're going to operate on, sometimes the rest of your paragraph gets drowned out and you have to understand that that's normal and it's actually quite common. I'm here for the patient and how can I make that experience the best that it can be. Compassion is connecting with the patient, being open to figuring out what we can do together, and then helping them move forward. UHN has a strong focus on ensuring our patients are very well taken care of from every aspect, whether it's psychological, physical, spiritual, that they feel safe, that, that our, our staff care for them. I want them to know I'm engaged in their healthcare journey. I always felt that my needs were being put first. It was the whole team that made me feel safe and secure. The physiotherapy is as important as the nursing. The patient is interacting with different parts of our team, and yet we're one continuum. When I first woke up, it was nine years, eight months, and 21 days ago at 9.30 this morning. And, and I will never forget that feeling of waking up and being able to breathe freely for the first time in my life. It was an absolute miracle. I feel gratitude every day for, my, uh, for this second chance at life.